pseudo community anything where god is not universally worshipped uh and known and loved by the entire populace of people in a given region <laughs> is known as pseudo community <laughs> It's like people sort of passing each other, but there's no common faith and there's no common uh, spirit of God inside of everyone. Um, <laughs> welcome to the war zone of planet Earth, but God has a plan. Hallelujah. Um, go back to the nations in the Bible, namely Israel, when God destroyed pseudo-community, which is to say God rooted out all the sin in the nation and the nation was with one accord 100 percent turned to god and righteous and pleasing before god it is not impossible for god to do this that's why you read your bible so you see what is possible you see what god likes then you call upon god for this to happen in your own country ideally in your home your own world um okay it's tall it's called total spiritual baptism to the point where every human you ever run into including this person you know all across the country um is 100 percent christian and 100 percent filled with the holy ghost that's it and it is publicly declared, like it is publicly declared by everyone in the country that this is what we believe and it's accurate and maximally pleasing to God. <laughs> it is not impossible for that to happen. God has done that in the nation of Israel at many times in its past history. <laughs> Quite frankly, there's nothing dumber and more stupid and more annoying than a country that has a political structure and political boundaries and it's completely disunited about who it worships <laughs> and who God is, namely who Jesus is. The entire country as one man needs to confess and believe with all of their soul that Jesus Christ is God. Okay, And there needs to be an active hearing of the personal voice of God by the leaders in said country. And everyone needs to be a Christian. Everyone. And everyone needs to be public about being a Christian. Like you actually have to, in order to live in the country, you actually have to publicly register your name in some publicly viewable place like the internet saying, yes, I am a Christian. Yes, I've been baptized in water. Yes, I've been filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes, okay, I confess that Jesus Christ is God. Yes. <laughs> it's like I believe that the Bible is the Word of God. Um, <laughs> it's, it's what you call God's desire for every country is. <laughs> so, um, you know, only God can do this. That is the dream. That's the prayer we pray. Um, who knows when it will happen, God willing. But um, that is exactly what we're praying for. Because until Christianity, until Christianity is publicly confessed, you know, what was the original emperor that declared Christianity the, the official religion of the Roman Empire? I think it was Constantine. Um, until Christianity is publicly confessed by every person in the country to be the official tr tr Jesus is God, um, there is just spiritual poverty still among us. So once again, kids, to, and to ask a prayer like this to God is no different than asking God to bless your kids or like bless your job or like help you with some little thing. Me asking for the total salvation of nations and the total public declaration of all people within nations that Jesus Christ is God is no more difficult a prayer for God to answer than you asking Jesus into your heart or you asking God for an idea with something you're struggling with. Hello, humans. This is really not that hard to grasp or to see coming, okay? That God would save every breathing human in every country of the world 
and make and just make every human a publicly confessing Christian in those countries to say, yes, I absolutely know that Jesus Christ is God. In fact, he paid me a visit last night, like is happening to thousands of Muslims all over the world. Jesus is visiting thousands of people as I speak in dreams and in visions. <laughs> so if you're going to talk about praying prayers to God, you better be asking God for the 100% conversion and baptism of every single human on earth. Because there, because that prayer is no more difficult for God to answer than asking God to make sure that the, that the rain falls at some point in order to grow, to, to, to grow the crops. Or any other prayer that you think is a different size difficulty for God. It's all the same. So you might as well ask him for the ideal thing and start believing it <laughs> and prophesy and speak like I do on planet Earth that the current situation of Canada and the current situation of the United States and the current situation of countries in the world where there are one or more people in the country that do not publicly confess frequently that Jesus Christ is God, that is coming to an end. It is foolish and it is not God's will and it is not going to last and this applies to presidents and prime ministers and politicians of every flavor and sort and shot and size that do not regularly publicly confess Jesus Christ as God and as the answer for all people this as we see the earth today it is not going to continue it is not going to last this way because it is not God's will Okay, <laughs> it is God's will that every human publicly confess that Jesus Christ is God all the time, regularly, frequently, and that everyone on earth accepts that as normal. And it's just plain normal. And Jesus doesn't want to kill you. He doesn't want to make a slave out of you. He doesn't want to make you feel uncomfortable about being you um, and having the life that you have. But he does demand that every human on planet Earth publicly confess that he is God. That is what he demands. And that is what he wants. And that is his will. And so that is what is going to happen in Jesus' name. Okay? And it's really not that hard. It's really not that hard. You just have to do it. And Jesus is not your enemy. Jesus is not out to kill you. Jesus is not out to uh, lambast your life and make you feel uncomfortable about who you are. No, Jesus created you. Jesus likes you. Jesus loves you. But he demands public confession. He demands public worship. He demands public acknowledgement. And he demands public confession by every human for all time. Now, think to yourself, is it really that hard? For me as a human to publicly confess that Jesus is God? Is it that hard? Did it cost me any sweat? Does it cost me any money? Does it cost me anything? You know, other than my openness and childlike faith. No, it doesn't. So, <laughs> you know, it's really not that hard to see it coming. <laughs> okay, Jesus wants every human worldwide to publicly confess that he is God. And guess what? He loves you, he likes you, and he wants to live a personal life together with you. Okay? Um, you know, it's really not that hard to publicly declare before all people, for all time, using the internet, using a microphone, where, wherever you're called to live in this world, publicly declare that Jesus Christ is God. That's what he's asking the entire human race for. And he will le lead you and you'll live a wonderful life together with him. There you go, world. That's what's coming. <laughs>